In this paper, we show how StyleGAN can be adapted to work from raw, uncurated photos collected from the internet. StyleGAN is one of the most prominent generative models. It is known to produce high-fidelity images while also offering unprecedented semantic editing. However, these fascinating abilities have been demonstrated only on a limited set of datasets, which are usually structurally aligned and well curated. Since such manually curated datasets are rare, employing StyleGAN over different domains is rather limited. A natural source for large image datasets is the internet. However, raw, uncurated images downloaded from the internet impose two main challenges to StyleGAN. First, they contain many outlier images. For example, a collection of images downloaded with the label horse contains images dominated by text, images of horse statues, and many other distracting images. The second challenge is that even the in inlier images are characterized by a multimodal distribution. For example, images of horses can show horses with different poses and colors. Training StyleGAN on such raw, uncurated image collections results in degraded image synthesis quality with severe artifacts. To meet these challenges, we propose a StyleGAN-based self-distillation approach, which consists of two main components. In the first step, we perform an automatic self-supervised filtering of the training data in order to get rid of outlier images. Given a collection of uncurated internet images of a given domain downloaded from the internet, we first train a StyleGAN generator with an encoder over the unfiltered images. Naturally, the generator focuses on the most prevalent visual images in the data, rather than the tail of the data distribution. We then leverage this generative prior to filter the raw training data by using the trained generator and encoder that are now kept fixed. The trained generator and encoder are used to measure the reconstruction quality attained for each image in the collection by computing the perceptual similarity between the input and output images. Images that pass a certain threshold are kept. Images that are below the threshold are rejected. This results in a filtered image collection that is then used to train the, file style, the final style again and generator from scratch. We set this threshold such that we obtain a reasonable trade-off between the diversity of the filtered images and the reconstruction quality. For more details on how this threshold is set, please refer to the paper. In the second step, in order to handle the multimodal nature of the remaining filtered data, we employ a multimodal variant of the StyleGAN truncation trick, which occurs at inference time. Here, we graphically depict the latent space W of StyleGAN. The commonly used truncation trick works as follows. First, the latent global mean is computed. Then, given a sampled latent code, it is interpolated with the global mean latent vector to generate the output image. This truncation has been shown to provide better quality and realism. However, it comes at the expense of diversity. We find the degradation of the data diversity more acute when the data set is multimodal, since pushing the output toward a single global mean induces mode collapse. To overcome this, we introduce multimodal truncation trick, where we first cluster the latent space then we find the perceptually nearest cluster center. And finally, we push the sampled latent code towards that center. This operation better maintains the characteristics of the non-truncated image, allowing us to generate high quality images while maintaining diversity and capturing the multimodal nat nature of the data. We have successfully applied our approach to many different, new, challenging, and diverse domains con collected from the internet. Next, we show a few such examples. Here are images generated by our method for the parrot domain. Note the high quality image generation obtained by our method. The unique color combinations of the parrots are captured well by our multimodal approach. Here are elephant results. Dogs. Lions, bicycles, and more.
The StyleGAN models that we train not only produce high-quality images, but also preserve StyleGAN editing capabilities. For example, we extracted a few editing directions for lions and visualized them. Here is adding or removing the mane. Turning the lion's head. And making the lion roar. Here are some more examples for parrots. And for horses. We can further take a random walk between our cluster centers in the latent space of various domains. As can be seen, the cluster centers are highly diverse and capture well the multimodal nature of the data. For more details and visual results, please see our paper and supplementary page. Thank you!